Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about why and when to use a heap. So here I have a heap represented as an array, and I have a heap represented as a binary tree. And specifically, these both are max heaps. They're the same heap, um, just both represented in different data structures. So we know that the maximum value is always going to be at the start of the array, and the maximum value is going to always be at the root of the binary tree. So why do we want to use or when do we want to use a, a binary heap? Well, why? First is for instant access to the largest or smallest. In this case, it's the largest because uh, we're using a max heap, but a min heap, it will be the smallest uh, value. And what I mean by instant access, I'm talking big O of 1, also known as constant time. That means we know where to find the largest value or smallest value, in this case, the largest value. All we have to do is return the array at the starting position. So if we started the array from, from 0 to uh, n, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so this would be uh, 5 here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we just return array at position 0. OK, and if this started from, uh, from 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then this would be array at position 1. So all depending on how you set up your array, but we know that it's going to be at the at the start of the array, constant time. Okay, so two. Um, it's useful for priority uh, priority queues, and let's say uh, and schedulers. where the earliest time, I mean, the earliest item is desired. So I'm going to put uh, where the earliest item is desired. OK, so um, what's some practical applications of this? Uh, maybe you have somebody at the uh, hospital. One comes in with a cough. And uh, actually, let's do this right here. One person comes in with a fever. So their priority would be something like five. And then one person comes in with a cough. Their priority will be three. So if we were to just take this and put it in the heat, uh, we know that we can just pop off uh, the five here. And we scheduled the person with the fever first. Even if the person with the cough came first, we will handle the person with the fever first because they have the higher priority. But now let's say somebody comes in with a broken arm and they get a priority 25. So now we haven't helped anybody yet. And this person with 25 comes in, I mean priority 25, a broken arm. So that means that these two values are going to swap, 25 and 5. And now when the doctor's ready, and he wants to uh, work on the person with the highest priority, he'll just uh, take the 25 here from the top in constant time, and now we can work on the person with the broken arm. So thank you guys. Uh, please leave likes, comments, and please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.